what's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today we will be installing this Jack Spania Racing Clutch Stopper. We received this as a gift from our homies Jesus and Billy from Speed Zone. So shout out to you guys once again. Thank you so much for treating us so good. You guys are the best. So if you guys need any parts, performance, audio, miscellaneous, clothing, anything, honestly, go check out Speed Zone Web because they got it all practically. So if they don't got it, they probably could get it for you. So if you look down here, we have a little assortment of tools and things that you want. If you guys know, with the TSXs and many Hondas, clutch pedal is notorious for cracking, breaking, and then, you know, messing with your engagement or not getting into gears. So look out for that if you guys have any engagement issues. This is Jack Spinney Racing's little clutch stopper. It's super easy to install. All right, y'all. So some key points and information to why I'm installing this. Because if you have any your engagement point overextended on your clutch, you could cause some damage to a lot of things, catastrophic things. If you overextend, it could overpressurize the system and it could put too much pressure on the diaphragm right here, which can push it outwards and sometimes bend it out or even snap these things off. All sorts of mess. Some even more catastrophic things, it could mess with your thrust washers on your crankshaft, pushing it a little slightly, which could ruin your crankshaft and then just a mess, guys. So this is just like a little safekeeping help prevent that. It stops the clutch to the point to where it just engages into gears, but not over throwing it. it just gets into gears and then you go. So it kind of helps you with quicker shifts in a way, making sure nothing fucks up, you know? I'm gonna be installing this, put a little bit of blue Loctite on here because why not? We don't need things vibrating loose. We have some solid mounts and things tend to weirdly sometimes come loose. So just to prevent that, a little bit of Loctite. At first, I thought this wasn't gonna work for the TSX because in other videos, I've seen that people installed it like right after this curve right here and their clutch pedals are kind of skinnier and width wise. But with the TSX, you have to install it like right here like that because you know that's the firewall direction but you know at first i honestly didn't think it'd go right there because it's a little close to the pedal itself so it seemed wrong but i guess for the tsx that's where it goes so you guys know with me now you know you know we, we know together that we know let's get it here we have it installed on the clutch pedal so at first yeah you could see that's like right at the pedal so it kind of seemed wrong to me because everyone has it like right after this curve right here so we're gonna see how this goes about yeah just go with the flow i'll get back to y'all soon it isn't fully solid i have like a backstop like this firewall area is normally i'm seeing like the videos of whatever it being installed right here and then the backing point hits right there but for the TSX, since it has to be all the way down here, it just like, it's right there. So it's kind of inconsistent. Do a little tester feel and see how this goes. <laughs> I got it installed, like I said, and I gave it a shot. If I don't fully like try to press it hard or whatever, you don't feel the mush, you feel like it kind of like backstopping. But if you press it a little bit harder, you kind of feel it or like press like resist against the carpet a little bit but i adjusted the clutch and the stopper it, it's it's doing its thing i had to probably shorten the length right here it's a 13 millimeter nut that you loosen up and then you just adjust it or whatever you want to get it to the point where it obviously goes into gears which it was like as soon as i let off the clutch it was grabbing but i have like this much travel room with the stopper and just the clutch itself so i don't think it's fully engaging you kind of want to hear it to stop spinning i'm just gonna shorten the length on the rod a little bit and hopefully that's gonna give me what i'm looking for went on a little test drive around the block it's definitely a little weird something to get used to all i have is like this much travel room in general i have the shortest amount of distance before it hits the carpet instead of the back of the firewall you feel like the little bit of flex with the carpet so it's kind of odd it's something to get used to I've never had this before and I'm messing with the adjustment on the clutch itself um, but it seems to be fully engaging I looked at it the slave is like fully extending out I mean it's going into all gears pretty fine grabbing so yeah it's just really weird having like this much travel room in general with the clutch so we're gonna do more driving and testing stay tuned for that watch throughout this video kind of see how it works so yeah stay tuned <laughs> That's what it feels like it would do. Alrighty guys, so we are in the car, driving as you can tell. That was a cop. Um, <laughs> I've been driving it for a day, uh, since yesterday, trying to get a feel for it. It's definitely really weird because you have like this much room of like just pedal travel before it hits the carpet. 
and I'm still kind of messing with my adjustment points. Uh, I guess you kind of want to get it to the point where it gets into gears and it gauges and you can get into all the gears and then you wanted to give it a couple more turns from the other videos that I've watched. So I'm still kind of messing with the engagement like I said. I have it more towards me instead of towards the uh, clutch master firewall which is making the engagement a lot sooner or grab it a little bit more aggressively. Alright guys, so we went on that ride real quick, show you guys kind of how little the travel room really is with the clutch pedal and me just kind of so messing with the engagement. So all in all, this clutch stopper is really meant for twin disc clutches and performance, but mainly twin disc and I only have a comp stage two, so it's not really like heavy performance clutch. So it's not necessarily needed for me, but it does help in the sense of not overextending your clutch system, which you're able to do. So like I was saying, if you have like a stock clutch or something, then it is really not needed but it could be useful in a sense of like getting a little bit of quicker shifts and just not overextending your clutch system period so if you guys want it you could go buy it. i think it's like 60 bucks or something but the homies at speed zone gifted it to me i did want to try it and make a video and see if i like it or not and it's definitely something you have to get used to because it is completely different of a feel not being able to press in your clutch completely it just gets it to the point where it gauges into gears and that's it so guys, as always, more videos to come. Shout out to you, Jesus and Billy at Speed Zone for gifting me this. More content to come. Stay tuned. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Let me know what you guys want to see. This TSX, the TSX that's in there, other cars, other car stuff. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments. All right? Peace. I never take a day off, work around the clock, my engineer getting paid off. Rock like Ace Up, like the weed and take off. So high, I cannot see.